Hey everyone, Tragic the Garnering back again. Uh, this is part two of my um, test buys from the Seattle Goodwill through eBay um, to see how bad they're hosing us when we buy these. Um, the last box I got was okay. I mean, I broke even exactly. Um, nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Um, can we do a little better this time? So here's what we got. Let's see if we can see it here. Um, another box, um, it's like a medium flat rate box, um, full of cards, no organization, and throwing it at the top, you can see there's a revised Sheevan Dragon, so it's about 10 bucks, that's a good card. Some other rares, um, of nothing too important there, like a Plasm Capture and the Bomat Courier, and you can see some other rares with a little hologram sticker on it, um. And then, so what else is in there? Did they just uh, pick a few good looking cards and throw them on the top, and the rest is just uh, uh, picked through junk? I understand if it's junk, um, but did it get picked through and staged? That's my real question here. Um, you got a card from the dark there, so that's really interesting. Um, and then Dragon's Maze stuff right next to it, so, uh, and a Geist Hunter Monk, you know bulk rare kind of stuff um ended up paying 155 50 plus 19 bucks in shipping we'll just call it 175 um for that so let's open the box and get down to it here from the seattle goodwill another flat rate box How are you guys doing today? It's cold out there. Well, I'm glad to be inside messing around with this stuff. Okay, and again, we got a big mass. A jumbled mess. I thought I saw something good right there. Oh, there's a commander sphere, so that's pretty promising. It's in the sleeve. Um, could just be. Uh, again, like I've predicted in the past, sometimes feels like just deconstructed decks, people's collections that get left behind. It's definitely the kind of what I do like to see. And then, of course, basic lands, cackling counterpart. So, some interesting stuff already. You got a foil, Sage Eye Avengers, you got full art, islands, and stuff. So, um, now to go through this properly, um, it is much easier for me to go ahead and pull these out and put them into some organization and then properly go through it. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, sorted into the box, out of the other box. So now I can actually start going through it. So I will do that now. Okay, scanning time starts now. Startled awake. Mythic. Actually halfway decent, so maybe I'll show that up over there for now. Okay.
buried ruin should be a buck. 90 cents. Just barely hits my minimum. <laughs> I'll take it. Regrowth is actually an okay. Dragon Arch. I actually think this might be an okay card. Yeah, 298. Finally hit something sort of okay. Small some planes. Oh, there's that revised Sheevan Dragon. This was the bait card, and it's definitely the best card that we've found so far, almost halfway through this box, so. Uh, not a fourth, it's actually a revised. That's a little better. Yep, ten dollars and forty cents. So that was the big chase right there. And if we don't do any better than that, then I'm pretty positive that this box was just staged with a couple of okay things on the top to get you in a tizzy. There's a skull crack. That one's okay. There's always gonna be some little pickable things like that. But um not always going to be, you know, anything even better than that. You never know. That's what keeps me coming back to these. A uh, Arcanus the Omnipotent from the Dual Decks. And this one's probably not all that big. Any, it's actually over a buck. We'll take it. Buried Ruin again, different version, which we've already found an M12 one, 91 cents just over my minimum, so it'll count. Got the Rack, 4th edition, that actually is Halfway decent. Got a foil altered ego. Is that any good? As a foil, it's 95 cents. Gets to stay on the list.
So this was another card that was shown. Um, on one of the listing pictures, Curse Artifact from the Dark is nothing, but it's one of those cards that you, if that's the only card from the dark that you see on the, uh, in here, then that's clearly a bait card. It makes you think, oh, there might be some other old stuff in here. There's been nothing of that era so far. So. That's evidence to support my hypothesis. Um, I'm not sure which card's from. Yeah, I had a feeling about that one for some reason. I don't know. We'll throw it over there. But Jukabog might actually be, wow, really good actually. That's a lot more than I was expecting. Wow, this have seemed to have gone up quite a bit. They were like a buck just like a few months ago, I thought. Well, okay, that's a hit. We'll take a Bajukabog, sure. Usually there's plenty of pickable stuff in a lot like this where it's commons and uncommons. This one not so much. This one had been I'm sure well rattle chains. Oh, just over ninety cents, sure. And you can't even see it. There you go, rattle chains. Um Yeah, usually there's a lot of pickable stuff that ends up in here and boosts the total up, but this one you know, it was, it was purely the bulk that had been left behind, but I think on top of that, like, I think they staged it with a couple of interesting things, or at least, if these things were already in this lot, somehow, I think they pulled them to the top to make it look good. That's my current assessment, and when I get through the next box, and if it's three in a row that are the same, basically, I'm gonna declare it. I don't think anyone should be buying these at all, if that's the case, so. I've done well on these from Seattle in the past, but I think they may have switched things up. Commander Sphere, that's one we had seen, I think, when we originally opened the box. Different edition, probably about the same. 2014 version, $1.37 for Commander Sphere. So I was hoping to see more stuff in that range. There really wasn't. That is it. Okay, so this second box from the Seattle Goodwill was an ultra dud, only amounting to 32 bucks here. I don't know if, did I miss anything that was under 90 cents? No, that's it, all 15 cards um, that were 
remotely worth a little bit and this being the best one which was the one that was prominently displayed at the top of the box so I feel like that was staged and I feel like they know it so I got one more box of hoseness to go through from this one and I'm probably going to declare um, these as a don't buy at that point so stick around I'm probably going to combine these into one big video so all right, catch you later.